first time here be sure to subscribe down below if this is not your first time here thank you so much for coming back I really really appreciate it so if you guys couldn't tell by today's video title we are doing a weekend staycation okay your girl needs a break I need a break somewhere quiet somewhere that I can just zen out and relax so I booked me a weekend staycation at a hotel um, just a little bit outside of Dallas just so that I can just be stressed and reset actually so that I can just kind of fill my own cup back up so that I can show up as my best self. So this vlog is really just going to be my whole weekend here and just the things that I'll be doing while I am here. Before I kind of like talk about what we have planned for the weekend, I wanted to talk about how important it is to take care of yourself, not only just like physically, but also mentally, emotionally, because I just feel like the pandemic has brought out so much out of people. It was just a, a, a really complex last two years and i see it a lot in the workplace and we talk about burnout a lot but i really do feel like you can be emotionally burnt out mentally burnt out social media can be really heavy you can be going through your own personal problems to where you feel like i am just depleted and i just feel like over the last two years i've just been feeling a lot of energy around me that just feels tired bro like people are just tired and this year i made it a point to prioritize my self-care and also create what that looks like for me so this weekend is just one of those pillars of self-care that i like to partake in to refill my cup so i really just wanted to briefly state how important that is and um, hopefully this video can just give you some insight or motivation to do something for yourself i don't care what it is y'all like just find time for you and find time to pour back into yourself with all that being said because i don't want to ramble too much because we have a whole vlog ahead of us uh, if you guys partake in just like solo adventures, please leave them down below for just myself or anybody else. Or if you have any tips um, about doing things by yourself or how to become more comfortable doing things by yourself that may possibly also help other people, feel free to drop those in the comments as well. Um, throughout this video, you'll see me doing different things by myself. So I'll talk about them and share my tips and stuff. This weekend, I have a massage booked tomorrow afternoon and I have dinner reservations tomorrow evening. So I'm only here for really like tomorrow's my only full day here because I just checked in not too long ago. So it's Friday evening. I have to unpack a little bit, but after that, I'm gonna figure out where I wanna eat and then I'm gonna get started creating some content. couple restaurants that are close by um a lot of them don't do delivery so i might just have to go run and pick up my orders before i go and pick up my food that i'm gonna order i'm gonna film one of the videos that um was on my on my checklist so i'm gonna do that first and then i'm gonna go get my food and then come back and just hang out so just get me all posted and um, it's around seven o'clock right now. And with daylight savings, it doesn't get dark until like eight. So at first I was like, let me go order my food and then come and film my video really quick. But I think I'm gonna just film, knock it out and then go grab my food. So I'll holla at y'all. Maybe when I'm in between filming, I don't know. I don't know yet. <laughs> or I might just holla at y'all when I go pick up my food.
So I ended up going to Olive Garden. Now I know some people feel well, I already feel about Olive Garden. But when it comes to the eggplant parmesan, someone's doing something right. Someone's doing something right. So I just got back from picking that up. So I'm about to devour that because I don't think I really ate all day. So let me show y'all. Let me show y'all what's in the bag. Okay, so we got we got the bag the bag is secured this is a really big salad um i got a salad instead of a soup because last time i don't think i ate i ate the soup that came with my meal but i wish i could give this to my boyfriend because he loves olive garden really olive garden's italian dressing but he loves olive garlands i can't talk oh my god girl he loves olive garden's salad so I really wish I could give this to him because I know he will tear this up. And then I got some breadsticks. So I am about to devour this. Oh, and I also got, um, I brought some wine. Hey y'all, good morning. So today is Saturday. I slept like a baby last night. Whatever is whatever is in this bed, you're coming home with me. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. But I gotta figure out what's on these hotel beds because when I tell y'all I slept so good, girl. Like I didn't wanna get up because I was just sleeping so good. So anyways. I'm well rested, I feel good. It's a beautiful, beautiful day outside. So I'm getting ready to head to my massage appointment. It's at 2 p.m., it's about one right now, and it's about 20 minutes away, give or take. I do wanna make a quick, I guess it's lunch now, but I do wanna make a quick breakfast because I haven't ate yet. Usually for me, if I'm going anywhere, I'm bringing snacks, okay? That's just, that's just how I am. Okay, that's just how I am. So, I brought some snacks for my little staycation and I also brought like some easy breakfast ideas um, just because I knew I wasn't getting up early to go downstairs to get breakfast. Down here is my snack cabinet and I got some Cheez-Its because this is not only the best flavor of Cheez-Its but overall Cheez-Its are just Got, got to have Cheez-Its. This white cheddar popcorn, I don't know. I've been indulging in this and I really, really like it. So I'm gonna have some of this tonight. And then I brought some sweet and salty cashew uh, Nature Valley bars. These are really, really good. I already, I already dug into these, but these are the Trader Joe's dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Um, I don't know if I said it, but Aunt Flo's in town and Right now, I'm just craving Reese's, so I got those from Trader Joe's. And then this is the breakfast I'm gonna make today. So I'm just gonna do an instant oatmeal. Um, I got the apples and cinnamon flavor, and then I have a green Granny Smith apple that I just had from the house. the rest of my oatmeal so I'm gonna check in with you guys once I make it to the massage spa mm.
So I just got done with my massage. Y'all look at my face. I don't know if y'all can see. I was laying on that table. I, I'm pretty sure I went to sleep like five times because <laughs> that massage was so, so relaxing. Oh my God. It was so relaxed. It was so good. It was so good. I haven't gotten a massage since I want to say my 24th birthday. So that was like three years ago, maybe. Yeah, about three years ago. And it didn't even compare to this one. This one was just, it was just so good. It was so good. You know, usually with massages, you think that it's like, oh, you know, I have pain in this area and, you know, like deep tissue and, you know, really getting those kinks out. But I really feel like this massage was a release. Like, I felt like it was so much stuff stored in my body. Like, as she was massaging it, it was literally releasing. I feel rejuvenated, but I really feel like I let some shit go in that massage room. Like, so much has left my body. So, I I feel great. But now I low-key want to nap because it was so zen in there. It's like a um, kind of like bohemian type of vibe. And they had like the water waves playing and it was just very much zen very much my vibe so i literally was falling asleep so i think i want to i ate the oatmeal before i got here so i'm not really that hungry but i do have a couple hours before dinner tonight so i'm just gonna see what's on the way over here there's a lot of stuff here so i'll probably just grab something and um just head back to the hotel room i ended up getting burger king <laughs> i got their impossible whopper some fries and a lemonade so i'm about to eat this really quick and probably just lay down until it's time to get ready for dinner so i'll see y'all in a little bit so it's a couple hours later and I'm about to get ready for dinner. I didn't end up taking a nap because I know if I would have taken a nap, I probably wouldn't have gotten up and got ready for dinner. So I just laid in bed for a little bit. As y'all can see, I got SpongeBob in the background because I'm a child. But anyway, for dinner, I have these two options of outfits that I could possibly wear. So let me show you guys really quick. I can go all black, which if you know me, you know I, I will wear all black any day, any time, any event. So I have this shirt from Zara and then I also have some leather pants. So this is a possible outfit. And then because the weather does look good outside, um, I also have the same top because I love this top so much. I got it in a different color from Zara, but this is a kind of like lime green type of color. And then I have some denim jeans. So literally yin and yang. I'm thinking because it's dinner, I'm leaning more towards the black and also because I'm biased. But also this pop of color is really cute. And because it's springtime, it may give it, you know, something, I don't know. But I'm about to do my makeup really quick. And I guess when I do my makeup, I'm gonna see what the vibe is giving. Let me go set up and get everything ready for me to start doing my makeup. And then I'll come back and check in with you guys when I'm about to get dressed. I am done getting ready for dinner and we're about to head out now because I'm literally right on time. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave now so I can make it there before I'm too late, so. Did you sleep on the wrong side? I'm catching a bad vibe And it's contagious What's the latest? Speak your heart Don't bite your tongue Don't get it twisted Don't misuse it What's your problem? Let's resolve We can solve it What's the cause? It's official You got issues I got issues I just made it back to the hotel from dinner and the dinner was really good. I ended up getting a, I don't know what the proper word is, but it basically was like a vegan bowl and it had like tempura vegetables, tempura tofu, and some grains, and some kale. So it was really like 
healthy, but it was also really good. I don't know what they were doing back there in that kitchen, but they did what they needed to do. I also had a Cosmo, which once again, whatever that bartender was doing, he or she knew what they were doing. So it was really good. <laughs> the only gone was, um, I don't know who I thought I was making dinner reservations at Legacy West on a Saturday night. It was crazy packed. Thankfully, I looked up and I got some good parking, but um, yeah, Legacy West on the weekends, it's just crazy. I mean, if you are in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, then you probably are like, yeah, girl, you played yourself, you played yourself. But they have, uh, like, it's, they have all these restaurants and all these shops, and it's really a great place, honestly, if you wanna get away from the city and still get that like luxurious feel. Legacy West is it's a place to go, but it was really good. I will definitely go again. I want to go and try. They have like a, they have about like five or six vegan options on their menu, so I want to go back and try some other stuff. But it's about like 9:40, so I'm gonna start cleaning up and like packing up my stuff because I was getting ready earlier and I filmed a video, so. It's kind of chaotic in the bathroom right now. So I'm gonna shower, start packing some stuff up and just kind of relax. I might check in with you guys throughout the night or I might check in with y'all in the morning, but I just wanted to update y'all on dinner. And yeah, I'm actually, I need some dessert. I was this close, this close to driving a Krispy Kreme for some chocolate glazed donuts but mm, mm, mm. I was just trying to be greedy. Uh, so I got, I got some granola bars in here that are actually a good dessert. So I'm gonna eat that instead of Krispy Kreme because that, it just, no. I'm talking about being my best self and I'm gonna go get some Krispy Kreme donuts. Like, girl, no, absolutely not. So yeah, anyways, bye y'all. <laughs> Good morning. So today is Sunday. I'm going home today. I have to check out in about, um, I don't even know what time it is. I think like 45 minutes or something. So I packed up most of my stuff last night. I just have to clean up the bathroom because I did my makeup last night and um, just put on my like body wash, face wash and stuff, pack that up and then I'm good to go. But yeah, I had so much fun this weekend. I relaxed, I, I did everything that I set out to do and that's what I'm most proud of. I'm about to um, start packing everything up, throw my clothes on and head out so that I can check out on time. And I think I'm gonna stop by Starbucks because what better way to end a staycation and some Starbucks. So let's go ahead and get up and get everything together and then we're gonna head out. This is what I stay from throw it up, dubs on the Cadillac, white tees, Nikes, gangsters don't know how to act, Adam still bank head, college park, cover home, I'm a slow and on grown, choking on that home grown. y'all so everything is packed up i'm about to start taking stuff down to my car um i just threw on this green shirt this was a shirt that i was gonna wear yesterday if i didn't do the black one and then i just have these jean shorts on with these sandals simple easy so i'm gonna go take this stuff downstairs and then we're gonna head to starby's really quick Good morning. I'm it good. It is going to be 8.34. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Did you want a straw for your cold brew? Uh, no, I'm okay. No? Right. Yeah. And then all I'm just waiting on is that mm, cheese sandwich. Perfect. Okay? Thank you. Did you want you. the napkins with it? Uh, yes, a couple will be fine. Oh, okay. yeah. 
Alright, my love. One more second on okay. that one, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Did you launch your receipt? No, it's okay. Right. Thanks. Thank you. Uh -huh. Alright, thank you so much for that way. Thank it. you. Have a good one. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. I love sweet people that work in the drive-thru. Because you just be making people's day, you know? But anyways, let me go ahead and drive and drink my Starbies. And um, I'll check in with you guys once I make it home. Look, look, just I ain't even been home. I ain't been home. More than 15 minutes, and he crying. Look at my baby. Look at mama's baby. Kodak, what you doing? <laughs> I just made it home not too long ago. I'm about to unpack everything, throw my clothes in the laundry, and just relax for the rest of the day. I think I'm gonna take Kodak on a walk so that he can kind of spend some quality time i'm just gonna enjoy the rest of my sunday i hope you guys enjoyed my weekend staycation vlog and if you are not subscribed be sure to subscribe down below and i will catch you guys in my next video bye